Okay, so now on to the slide out. What we want to do is, uh, if you can see this on uh, my my style, this is a Happy Jack uh, Ram, electric Ram on the inside. So the track and everything, that's all Happy Jack brand. You can uh, grease these little um, tracks here for the gears. And um, before we lubricate all of our seals, we'll, we'll peel these seals back and we can get in there and throw some grease on the, uh, on the teeth, the gear teeth, on, uh, on both tracks. Here's just a closer look at those teeth. And then uh, if you pull the seal back, you can see the, uh, the little Teflon plastic wheels. <clears throat> throw some grease on that. And then uh, do it on, on both tracks. So we've got a second track on this side. If I can get that back. There you can see the second wheel. And uh, we'll grease that up really well. Run it uh, in and out a couple of times. And then uh, we'll uh, lubricate all of our rubber seals here. All right, so again, don't do not do a, a ton of this grease. Uh, you don't want a bunch of dirt collecting on these, on these tracks. And when you put your uh, silicone spray on the track, you can just spray it on a paper towel and run it up and down or just spray it right on, but make sure that you uh, wipe off the excess. You're gonna have it dripping all up and down your truck paint. All right, so there's uh, another service point for the uh, slide out mechanism in this cabinet here. So some of some of your doors, if you've got the, the Fleetwood Elkhorn, your, your door might actually hang a little bit differently, but uh, flip that down, take out your little tray, and then there's an access panel here with four screws on it and uh, just remove those four screws and I'll, I'll show you the uh, lubrication points there. Throw a little bit of light on this. So this is the uh, Happy Jack electric motor for the slide out. And there's a little gear right here that uh, can take a little bit of that marine grease. Um, so one more note, if uh, you're you're ever uh, if you ever lose power and you need to get your slide out in, there is a manual crank. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in a really precarious place, but uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. But before you can even roll this thing in uh, manually, there's a little lever right here that needs to be flipped. All right, so this little lever right here needs to be flipped this way uh, so it'll release. And then you can run in the slide out with the crank if you lose power or whatever. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of grease and throw it on this gear uh, right here, get it lubed up, and then we'll run the slide out in and back out a few times. Let's get it in there good. All right, and then we'll uh, run that a little bit, get it uh, going all around all the teeth. We can go ahead and run the uh, slide out in a little bit. Make sure before you do this, obviously make sure that your, your jacks are swung back into the driving position uh, if you have swing out jacks. Also make sure that uh, your door for your shore power uh, is closed and locked. It can sometimes get uh, flipped back if you have the Elkhorn model, uh, the uh, 11J. Uh, it can get flipped back and it'll get pinched between the slide out room and um, the camper wall and destroy that door. So make sure that everything's out of the way and uh, run the uh, slide out in a couple of times and um, get that gear nice and lubricated and then we'll put everything back together. All right, see if I can get the uh, camera in here. You can see that gear rolling when I'm closing the, the uh, slide out. So it's coming in now. Also, 
So a little bit, a little bit better shot of that lever that needs to be flipped back this way uh, in order for you to close it manually. So just uh, while you're in here, just inspect your gear and you know, and if there's any debris or anything, you can get in with the vacuum cleaner, vacuum all that out, and you know, just uh, keep it clean and keep it lubricated, and it'll uh, go nice and smooth for a little bit longer. So. There's one more point right there that I'll spray a little bit of that uh, dry uh, silicone lubricant right in that point there and it'll work some of that stuff down into the shaft before it meets that other gear on the track on the bottom of the uh, slide out room. Okay, so I just realized that uh, this, you guys probably have a drawer here. This used to be a drawer. Um, I pulled the, uh, the drawer tracks off took the, the tray out this used to be mounted inside the drawer and um, mounted the door so it's on hinges here just two hinges and um, put a, a magnet latch this works better for us that drawer um, used to keep flying open and the latch never did work right no matter how I adjusted it here um, and I just like this better. This this bin can come all the way out, and um, you can use this cubby for you know other types of storage if you want to. You don't have to you know have the drawer. You wouldn't be limited to the drawer. And there's a bunch of space on either side if you've got the drawer, and you and um, you'll you'll see that you've got just a ton of space on either side. So if you pull that drawer out and just use it as a cubby, um, you get access to the uh, you know to the service panel and more storage which is uh, at a premium in a truck camper like this. All right so I've run the slide out uh, in and out a few times to get those gears and the track lubricated and everything and it's going really nice and smooth. Uh, now I'm going to go clean the uh, the rubber seals uh, between the outside of the camper wall and the slide out. So you got to clean those first. There's a there's a cleaner that you can use, uh, just the rubber roof cleaner if you've got it. Um, if you've got a rubber roof, uh, you can use that uh, on your rubber seals. Um, it's kind of a conditioner and a cleaner. Um, I ran out, so I'm just going to use some of this uh, uh, Myers Clean Day and um, get the seals cleaned. Uh, really good on on the outside on the, and on the inside. So just a, a rag and the cleaner, and I run it around the uh, seals really well, both sides, bottom and top. Now the top might be difficult for some because, like on mine, I've installed the uh, slide out topper. So you can just you can get in there, you know, pretty pretty good, um, pretty far if if you have a tall ladder. Um, or if you're up on the roof, you can kind of, you know, get in there. But uh, another way to do it is with on your slide out, just run it in just about, um, oh, two inches or so. And I'll go ahead and show you right here if I run it in just a couple of inches. I'll show you. All right, so <clears throat> I put the fisheye lens back on so you can kind of see a little bit. <clears throat> You've got this outer seal which goes up against the the bolster of the slide out um, that goes all the way around um, you can clean and lubricate this as well with that same stuff but this is that uh, outer flap that um, seals the slide out from you know the outside and that goes all the way around also so I sprayed a little bit of that foaming spray on there and I'll uh, wipe it into the rubber and let it uh, soak in a little bit. So, sprayed that, wipe it around a little bit, let it soak in for about 10 minutes, and then just uh, wipe it clean. That's the, uh, the conditioner, this stuff here. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty easy maintenance. Getting the uh, Atwood Jacks uh, lubricated. The, um, the Happy Jack uh, slide out 
ram lubricated and all the tracks on the slide out room as well as the uh, rubber seals um, lubricated and conditioned cleaned lubricated and conditioned on the uh, slide out room doesn't take very long to do um, you know maybe 15 minutes for the jacks and another 10 or 15 minutes to clean the uh, clean and condition the uh, slide out room so real easy to do just uh, do it a couple times a year depending on how much you use it but at least two times a year so um, you know if you use it more often you know maybe do it every couple of months um, just you know inspect it and, and uh, lubricate it if it needs to be lubricated if you start hearing funny noises in the jacks especially um, you know make sure that uh, you get those things cleaned up and uh, and lubricated it'll prevent rust it'll prevent uh, anything from binding up and that's where you run into some big problems so hope this helps if you haven't subscribed to the channel already if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, click the uh, bell and I'll uh, notify you when uh, new videos are uploaded so thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one later